Well, thank you for having us to do this um, brief um, session. Um, this is a sort of an, an update on a, a bit of a work in progress um, that was um, originally conceived of as a um, proposal for a panel session involving GoGN members um, for the Otessa conference that was due to take place in Canada in, um, I think, at the end of May, beginning of June. And um, and so then we uh, realized, um, as with um, this event and OER20, that in fact there would not be a face-to-face -face conference and the Otessa um, organizers um, had to think about what to do instead. And so we wanted to update um, all of you, some of whom have already said that you're interested in participating in this and some of whom may not have heard of it before on um, and kind of what our next um, thinking is around this. So um, does this, oh, it advances, very good. Okay, um, so this was our original abstract um, and I'll just give you a moment to read it. Unfortunately, sorry, it's a little bit, um, a couple of words are covered. <laughs> So those top those top um, lines. Sorry, I was just finding the um, other slides so that I could um, read them to you. The the bit that's a little bit hard to see on the screen um, at the beginning is in this inaugural Otessa conference. This presentation will focus on the intersection and complexities that technology and open practice raise for research from the perspectives of members of GoGN um, and research in o into open educational practices or OEP is a fraught space that often creates more questions than it can possibly answer. Uh, so I think that what, um, I think that that's, um, yeah, so you can re read the rest um, and pro probably you've just about got to the end of it now. So, so really our idea was we wanted to create a session in which, um, in which the, uh, everyone would have an opportunity to kind of speak from their own perspective about their own research. So it would be a fairly open kind of question as to what, what contributions people would want to make. Um, but really they, the, the, the um, through line through the whole thing would really be how our um, experience as researchers of, um, of, of open education and open practices, um, how, in what way we were able to translate that into some kind of impact in our context, whether that might be in the institution that we work in, whether we're teachers or learners, or um, you know, it, in in the, the, the our context where we are actually kind of wanting um, wanting our research to kind of um, to bear fruit and to um, to to make an impact on practice. Uh, what, what were the challenges um, and the successes um, happening for us in that space? And, and from kind of hearing from each other's experiences, we might gain, um, gain a sense of um, strategies and, and tactics that we might be able to employ that worked for other people. And let me just try to um, advance. So with, with the uh, Otessa conference, oh, it advanced too much. Okay, um, with the Otessa conference, um, what they decided to do was um, was quite a, um, a a kind and generous offer. Was basically that people who still wanted to present a session, if they want to do it, they can simply um, let them know, and they will um, sort of allow allow the uh, some kind of live uh, webinar type of session to happen under the under the sort of um, umbrella of replacement Otessa um, and um, but um, also they'd be interested in people submitting a more of a proceedings paper and it, in a way we thought um, we thought that this would be quite a nice idea as it wouldn't be a huge quantity of writing for each of us individually if there are several of us um, happy to contribute to this. Uh, then we thought it would be quite nice to go for the paper and 
Um, and so that's kind of our, our vision for it. It's really like, you know, it would be only um, a few hundred words per person. Um, and <clears throat> so we were thinking really that, as you can see, um, we've got some questions there that we'd like people to think about how they can answer. And, um, and we're hoping that people are still keen to be involved. Okay. So, uh, so effectively, um, we just wanted to provide you with this update. Um, we have, um, we've found a few um, examples of collaboratively written papers, which we think are, are quite nice and quite interesting um, as ways of presenting something that's um, both academic and at the same time um, a bit unconventional. And we think all of those are worth, uh, worth a look. Um, not not really for the content, but for the approach to um, the kind of the presentation. Uh, so um, so we included those there for people to take a look. And so our next step that we wanted to um, who is P Collective? Good question. Um, is um, it's it, it, it's a collective name. So it's um, I think it's Puiwai Collective um, that it stands for. Yeah, um, and again, also with um, country B, um, that um, is um, in that that paper. One, the lead author is uh, Bawaka Country. Um, so again, it, it's a sort of adopted a, um, a collective name or a, or a, a, a place name um, as an author, which is quite interesting. So th th things to things to ponder on and um, and discuss further. I think there. Um, but um, what we thought in terms of the next step with this was just, again, to sort of uh, recall for um, interested participants. Um, and we, we will kind of contact those that already said in the first place they were keen to um, be involved. Um, but really, if you um, haven't already said you're keen to be involved, and you are, then do um, drop us a, an email or a tweet or something, and um, we'll try and set up a next meeting. And it's absolutely not. Uh, compulsory necessarily that you can make it to the meeting to participate, but we would like to discuss our ideas with um, whoever can make it along to a meeting. And uh, hopefully um, some of you are keen on, on this.